Hello there, and welcome to another episode of Rule the Waves 2 as Great Britain. This battle has dragged on for a very long period of time, and it is still only early afternoon, which means we have plenty of time for more airstrikes against the enemy. The big question is, will I be able to maintain contact to keep these strikes going, or... Uh, Will I be lobbing strikes blindly into the dark? We'll see. Meanwhile, I do believe this North Carolina class is in pretty serious trouble. As we can see, she's taken quite a bit of damage, not to mention a torpedo hit. So, all that stuff stacks up fast, and I believe that she will be in pretty bad shape over the next few turns. We also have a Congress class battlecruiser down here. Uh, I think I may be able to work my way around. Hang on, hang on, let's see. We also have some threats to the north here. How's our ammunition and damage holding up? Damage is not too bad. Ammunition is about half. It's pretty good, given that just a few turns ago they were at uh, almost 80%. And let's see, my own battleships are working their way out. So we also have the impenetrable down here. Let's see, what's she up to? I don't like that. I think we need to start withdrawing to the north. As nice as it would be to maintain contact to the south, I don't think we're going to be able to reliably do so. Review, Juggernaut is on fire, but looks like reducing speed and running with the wind is helping get that under control. We'll see. All right. I think that's enough reviewing. Actually, hang on. Let's do a quick review here. Got more cap heading out and about. I do think I can go through and start reducing the amount of cap because we have not seen very many enemy airstrikes, and I'd like to start sending those out as escorts again. So, let's see. First things first, select that. Pull these down. No search. Cap can go down to light. So then we go down to scout force. Pull that up. Cap is already on light. No search. Okay. Carrier force, cap, light, no search. Okay. And all that stuff is applied. All right, back to the log. And let's see if we can get our light cruisers out of here while we still have light cruisers to fight with. Oh man, look at that firepower. Land down some serious hits there on that North Carolina. We're not punching armor, but we are lighting fires and shredding the upper works. And just maintaining the pressure. And honestly, that's good enough. Let's see, what happens if we turn north? Do we want to shift strike location? Torpedo bombers? Yes, we're going to bump those over here. So we can hit whatever these groups are. And I think it is about time for us to shift our fire to those heavy cruisers. Because we have done good enough. Uh, let's try Savannah class. There we go. And yep, we're on manual targeting, so I will also have to manually shift these around. So Thetis can take on the Savannah class. Okay, and Katana can take on the Louisville. Good luck, boys. Go get them. Okay, do we want to just final strike location for eight torpedo bombers? Yes. Again, same thing. I want to keep on dropping these strikes right into the middle of their main forces. Just to keep doing damage. Alright, secondary is still hitting at North Carolina. And it looks like 
we have successfully shifted our fire. I'm going to turn off the manual targeting. And once again, yes, I'm going to shift strike location. This time we're going to go a little bit further south than what we've been doing before. See if we can hit some of this other stuff. Oh, dive bombers as well. Yes, we're going to shift those. Right in the middle over here. Oh, hang on. We're getting some hits on something. No idea what. But we are doing damage. Okay, and then we got this North Carolina over here. Congress class is still going. North Carolina is sinking. And how is this guy doing? Looking good. Looking good. We still have one operational North Carolina. Let's see if we can get some of these cruisers in close. Do I have any groups? Indeed we do. Amphion and Calliope are in good shape. A little bit low on ammunition, but that is fine. Okay, so we're going to take manual control of these and we're going to send them in after that North Carolina. And we're also going to see about sending some of these other guys in as well. So Blunderbuss, Manual Control, Squad Max. Well, I guess that's all we can do. And then we also have the Pioneer Pandora class. Wow. And the Diana. And all of these are looking good. All right, so we're going to lead a cruiser charge against this southern North Carolina, see what kind of damage we can do. And it looks like we are doing just fine. Oh, hang on. Impenetrable just took a conning tower hit. How bad is it? 16-inch hit at extreme range. Let's see, would that penetrate? Doesn't look like it. Now, is it what? 18,000 yards. So, 18,000 yards, theoretically possible against the 12 inch conning tower, but unlikely. So, I think we survived that just fine. Crew quality is still zero, doing good. Okay, Leviathan has limited flooding, but fire spreads. Okay, well, I think we're going to turn her with the wind. Interesting, it looks like the wind direction has shifted a little bit. And we're going to reduce speed somewhat, too. Okay... Let's see if we can get our Juggernauts out of here. Juggernaut, fire reduced, down to level 3. Good, good, good. Looks like we are getting that under control. At this point, I think the biggest differences between their ships and my ships is how well we respond to battle damage. Alright, we are starting to get some 6-inch hits on the Savannah. And a ship like this is very much under threat from those. So let's see. I'm kind of curious. What's our range? Range is 9,000. At a 9,000 we have a 3.4 inch belt penetration, which means we are not likely to be punching belt against the Savannah, at least not until we get closer. But we are getting closer and that can do damage against secondaries and uh, extremities. So that's the plan. We're just going to get in close and see if we can scare them off. Impenetrable high speed increases flooding. Again? I thought I told you to reduce speed. Alright. 
Oh boy, we've got a whole group of battle cruisers spotted and in range. Not good. Not good at all. Uh, let's see, we'll set an intercept course with these cruisers, see if we can intercept the North Carolina. Cruiser Pelorus. Ah. Get another one of those blunderbusses into the action. Good news. Good, good, good. Although, uh, well, as soon as we're in range, I'm going to shift over to the Savannah class. Maybe that Ohio class as well. How's she doing? Heavy damage, five knots. Yeah, she's sinking. Good shooting. We're still getting plenty of hits on that North Carolina. And Impenetrable is taking damage. Oh, wow. That flooding got much worse. Come on, man. I need you out of here. <laughs> You've got to disengage. Rudder's not jammed. What's going on? Why are you not slowing down? Or turning? Did they actually destroy the bridge? I don't think so. My armor should have held up under that. Come on, impenetrable. Turn away. All right, Polaris should be close enough now to shift fire to that Savannah. So let's do it. Shift target to Savannah. All right, looks like the rest of them are starting to retreat so we can turn around. And Polaris has rejoined the group, fantastic. Less micromanagement for me. Oh good, Impenetrable has started turning. And reducing speed. Oh, how bad is it? Four and a half hull hit as well. Oh man. That's some bad flooding. I actually may lose the Impenetrable. Juggernaut fire spreads. Oh, boy. That's bad. That's very, very bad. And with the structure wrecked, I have a hard time fighting the fires. Let's try reducing speed a little more. Okay, let's see. Fire reduced by damage control. Good. Down to level two there. Now I just need to get the flooding stopped. Cruiser Diana. What are you doing firing at that? Hmm. It looks like the North Carolina has turned to run. Let's try turning a little bit south. Maybe open up our broadsides a little bit. Let's see what kind of stuff we can do here. North Carolina hits some more. Oh, those are five inch and four inch hits. Okay, that's just the destroyers going nuts. All right, Diana, I want you going after that. No, nope, not that. Not that. What I'd really like you doing, come on, is going after one of those other guys, like 
I don't know, this guy. That'd be nice. And these other guys can start heading south as well, cutting an intercept course. So we can get in range and finish off that last North Carolina class. Alright, what else? More destroyer guns? That was a terrible torpedo shot. What on earth were they thinking? Okay, adjusting final strike location. Yes, we're going to plunk it down this way. Because it looks like the enemy has turned south. Juggernaut fire spreads again. Oh no. That is exactly the wrong thing to be happening right now. I'm going to reduce speed more. Come on, man. Get that thing under control. Oh, hang on. Ah, here we go. Blenheim's approaching enemy ships. Good news. Let's get some more airstrike damage in. Yep, let's shift strikes again. Okay. Torpedo bomber is going after a destroyer, probably. Possibly a corvette, but not likely. Not exactly the best use of resources, but every little bit counts. And we are doing damage to that cruiser. Let's turn south a little bit more, get those broadsides open. Oh wow, we actually hit the Corvette. We're going to adjust strike location, yes, right down there. Still shooting up that North Carolina. Not that there's much need, but sure, why not? And we are definitely hammering that Savannah class now. I'm surprised she hasn't done as much. All right, and dive bombers are hitting entirely the wrong ship. Darn it. Three more dive bombers go on. At least that's a decent ship target this time, but no hits. Come on, keep going. Here we go, this is an eventful turn. Thetis taking secondary hits. How are things going here? It looks like the enemy is confused. Do we have anyone firing at the North Carolina? Yes, we do. Okay. Blunderbuss is targeting it. Diana is firing at the Yorktown. Good. I'll keep them honest, at least. Pioneer firing at the Des Moines. I'll keep them from getting too aggressive. And let's see what else. What I'd like to do is turn to the south. I don't really need you guys targeting the destroyers, but... Oh, man! Now we're in range. I think that Savannah's going to get in trouble real quick. Because that's one set of hits. Two sets of hits. Three sets of hits. Yeah, look at that. Turrets knocked out. Fires. Speed reduction. She is in very poor shape. Okay, a dive bomber is going in against an unidentified ship. But we hit it. Juggernaut gets fires under control again. It's still not looking good. And how are things going down here? I saw somebody get hit. That was Diana taking a hit from a 16-inch gun. 
in the engine room too. Oh boy. All right. Well, we're going to turn away a little bit with Diana. Oh, hang on. Diana just reattached to someone. Okay, she's part of the Pioneer. That's fine. She'll wiggle around a little bit and then properly rejoin the formation. And Blunderbuss has shifted her fire again. Alright, Blunderbuss, I need you targeting the North Carolina. I need your full fury on that ship. More hits on the Savannah. Okay, are we able to launch torpedoes? Yeah, we're going to authorize torpedo launching. And then we're going to steam right past that Congress class. See what kind of trouble we can cause. Also, I think it's about time to double check airstrikes again. And we have lots of craft available on the Glorious. So we're just going to start grabbing everything we've got. And heck, even Victorious has a decent number of planes. So we're going to grab all of those. We're going to send them down this away. And launch those strikes. I'm not coordinating because I want them out as quick as possible. Carrier Division 21 is launching already. So I'm not going to worry about that. Carrier Division 4. Well, Unicorn looks like she's got mm, fighters. Just fighters. We'll hold off on that. Carrier Division 8. I see some here. We got Torpedo bombers, torpedo bombers. We don't have enough for everyone to carry torpedoes, so we're going to go heavy payloads there. And let's see, we also have five and six dive bombers. That's good enough for me. And then, well, we've got five dive bombers on the Pegasus. That's good enough. Launch those. Again, not coordinated. I just need them all heading in as fast as possible. And then we have Carrier Division 10. We've got 11 dive bombers, 12 dive bombers. We'll switch those over to Carrier because why not? But same general location, launch strike. Okay. Oh, that's the destroyer attacking. Thetis is also, no, those are secondaries, okay. Leviathan, fire spreads. Well, she's got the flooding stopped. So now we should be able to focus on getting those fires under control. And as soon as they are out, we can start making a run for it. How's Impenetrable doing? Well, she's slowly getting that flooding under control. Limits flooding, limits flooding, limits flooding. Yeah. We are getting things under control. Just ever so slowly. Well, I never really intended to use my light cruisers as frontline units chasing off enemy battleships and such, but they are doing a fantastic job of it so far. I do believe that that Savannah class is out. So we're going to save ammunition for a little bit. Not much. As soon as we're up next to that Congress class, we'll give her a few volleys, and then we're going to keep running south. And meanwhile, it looks like we've got stuff pretty well under control here. Enemy battleships are in full retreat. And I'm going to turn to open broadsides against those destroyers. 
but not with the blunderbuss. Blunderbuss is firing at that enemy North Carolina. How are we doing? Running a bit low on stuff. Are you at least firing? I don't see any reports about firing this time. I'm firing secondaries at a destroyer. Getting a hit there. Pioneer takes two hits. She's still doing just fine. All right, dive bomber starting to attack. I have no idea what's up here, but apparently it's a battleship and we're hitting it. I suspect that it's actually a heavy cruiser or something, but you never know. These aircraft reports are not good. Certainly some sort of major fleet element though, so very much worth dive bombing though. Okay, all this damage is starting to add up. I think we're going to turn away. And we're going to start laying smoke. And this is basically perfect conditions to relaying smoke because it'll be blowing it straight downwind into the enemy. Alright, Forte. Seems to be doing okay as well. We're going to turn her south to rejoin the rest of these cruiser groups. And I guess we'll keep going. Oh my. That's a pretty long range hit. Superstructure pass through, near miss, hull hit, belt penetrated. From that angle? How? That is some serious penetration if it's punching through like that. In that case, I think we're going to redirect our course a little bit to the left. Try and open the distance a bit. All right. Fighters going in after an enemy cruiser and we got two hits with I think either 500 or 600 pound bombs. We'll take it. One fighter goes in for a glide bombing attack against the destroyer and he gets shot down. Well, that sucks. I should have picked something a little more significant if you're going to get shot down. All right, Blunderbuss is getting hits on a mobile class. Nice. Put some of uh, those six inch guns to good use. And it looks like. This group is shifting fire? Why? Well, whatever, we're going to target it and we're going to throw some more steel in that direction. Leviathan is firing. Hang on, why is Leviathan firing? Aren't you still dealing with issues? Yeah, I don't want you doing that. Hold fire. Okay, North Carolina still taking hits. There we go, getting some good hits on that Congress class. That ought to bring her to a halt soon. She's still moving for now, but I give it a few more turns before she calls it and throws in the towel. Certainly with three autoloader cruisers passing by, she's going to take a lot of damage. Keep going. Nothing significant.
Oh. Unidentified ship hit by a torpedo. From what? Oh, so that was an enemy cruiser. Five more ships going in, and we get a glide bomb hit. Four more going in. We'll find out next turn. So that's looking like probably light cruisers in the back. It's hard to be sure. All right. Well, looks like these fellows are on a retreat. So we're going to turn around and see if we can close in and chase them off. Okay, I'm seeing lots of damage. And what else? Oh good, hitting that Congress. Okay, do we want to just find a little strike location? Yes, we're going to head down this way, because that's where the enemy capital ships are. I know there's cruisers and stuff back here, but none of the big battleships. And I certainly don't want them misidentifying which target to go after. Okay. Aeolus opening fire now. What have you got? Another 30 knots. Okay. Take manual control and turn her towards. Oh my. This battle is just dragging on. I'm ready for it to be done. Can't do, but I can't properly disengage until my battleships are out of danger. So we're going to have to keep on pushing until things are safe. All right, do we want to just final strike location? Yes, we're going to send them south. Okay, yep, Juggernaut is getting fires under control now. Good. Down to level three. Oh man. This is a long fight. Oh, wow. That Des Moines is in trouble. Took a hefty volley last turn. It looks like she's going to take another one next turn, too. Yep, that she did. We're getting some six inch kind of hits on the Congress class. Not as many as I'd like, but I'll take it. Pretty sure Katana should be targeting the Congress class, but okay. If you want to put that John Paul Jones down, then I am fine with that. As long as you hit it. All right, dive bombers going in on the disabled and sinking cruiser. Not the most ideal. It looks like our cap is intercepting some enemy planes. All right. Ooh, Polaris is hit by a torpedo. Oh boy, how bad is it? Actually not too bad. I mean, her speed is limited. We'll drop that speed down and we're going to turn her away. And I want you guys focusing, and Katana especially, on that Congress class while you're at point blank range. There's no need to be ripping open that Paul Jones class. You've done plenty enough damage to her. All right, air combat. Nothing significant, and it's all in our favor. Okay, we've got... There we go, stacking in some solid gunfire hits. That 
that's five plus a clutch more four four inch guns. Let's see, anything else? Nothing significant there. Polaris limits flooding. So glad these guys have torpedo defense. That does make a big difference. She has a very good chance of surviving thanks to that. Okay, adjusting final strike location, yes. I'm gonna send that down here. And let's see. I think we can turn back to the west. And I don't think we need to be cranking out the smoke anymore. So we can turn that off. Oh, you are never laying smoke in the first place. Okay. Just final strike location for five dive bombers. Yes. Eh, honestly, that looks pretty good. I'll just move it a little bit up and to the right. I hope that's good enough. Alright, Katana's doing good, good damage to that Congress class. Excellent. Pioneer's taking some damage from a Bane Blairge class destroyer. Interesting. And that Paul Jones class is. In trouble. She's taken a lot of damage there from those five, six inch guns. Oftentimes a single six inch hit is enough to doom a destroyer eventually, and that's a lot more firepower than that. So let's see, moving on. Adjusting final strike location. Yes. We're gonna put it further over this way just a little bit in the hopes that we get something critical. Adjusting final strike location. Yes, this one we're going to send down to the south. Okay. Taking pot shots at that sinking North Carolina again. I need you to save your ammo. So please, hold on to it. Alright. Torpedo bombing enemy battleship. I do believe that that could indeed be a battleship. Then we have a destroyer as well, which, well, when they're this closely intermixed, who knows? Okay. Let's see, what else? What else? More six inch hits on that Congress class. I think we've done plenty of damage. Thetis, what are you doing? All right, Polaris has gotten that flooding under control. I am still gonna start working her way back out of the fighting area because I do want to be generally working on a disengagement. Oh, nice. We got a torpedo hit. I would not have expected that. And I think it's time to start turning away again. Oh, man. All right, start the smoke fires again. Or sorry, start not burning all of our oil properly again, because that's how you actually do the trick. You uh, shift your ratio of air and oil in the boilers, and it starts not fully burning the oil. What little bits are not burned get picked up in the updraft, and that's what forms the smoke. So, yeah. If you ever see a car driving by that's kicking out a whole bunch of exhaust, that means that it's in completely burning whatever is going through its pistons. Now, and then you can also imply, figure out what it actually is burning based on the color of the smoke. So like crude oil and bunker oil, that tends to burn black. Same thing with diesel fuel is what I've seen. 
and then you get your uh, like motor oils and stuff. You know, those are leaking. Say you've got a bad uh, piston ring or something, or it's leaking oil into there. You'll get some sort of a lightish bluish smoke. It smells differently as well. In either case, it's a nasty smell, whatever it is. Not fun. But, you know, you can tell the difference by the color. And then, of course, if you're dealing with electronics of any sort, or electrical equipment at all, that has a very dis different distinctive blue smoke. That's the magic that makes electronics work. And you don't want to let it out of your electrical components, because then they don't work anymore. All right, yep, we're just going to turn for a general retreat and leave the rest of this up to our aircraft. Speaking of which, one more quick review. Those guys are still launching. Oh, here we go. We've got another 11 ready. Grab these. Target uh, that direction. Priority target battleships and launch. Carrier Division 4. Not quite ready yet. I don't want to be throwing single groups of five in. We'll give them a little bit more time to repair. Carrier Division 8 has already launched, or is in the process of launching their strength. Carrier Division 10 is already launching their stuff. Okay, nothing too significant there. We'll just keep on driving then. All right. Plenty of hits on that destroyer. I think you guys have done good job. But now it's time to turn away. In fact, let's start laying down smoke from here as well. Thetis, I want you blowing smoke. And Polaris also definitely has to be burning smoke. Okay, I saw a report about someone living fires again. Whoa, that went back up? Oh wow, that really spread. We almost had that completely out and then it spread back up to a level four. Well, now it's down to level three again, but still not good. Impenetrable is still having trouble getting flooding under control. So let's, uh, let's drop that down a little more, down to four knots. How's Juggernaut doing? Still stuck at a level three fire. <sighs> Come on, guys, get this thing out. Okay, do we want to just find a location? Yes, we're going to send that further south. And fire spreads again. Oh, no. Come on, guys. Three more enemy torpedo bombers going in. Hopefully they miss. Yeah, they missed. Okay. Another strike. Yeah, we're going to shift that. We're going to plunk that down this way. And let's adjust final strike location here. Honestly, I think that's looking pretty good. I'll just move it a little bit further over and hope that's good enough. All right, and it looks like they just tallied another round's worth of aircraft repairs. Nice. Impenetrable limits flooding. What's she down to? 122. Ugh. Come on, guys. Get this thing under control. All right. Going after that blunderbuss class. Oh, no, that's a Topeka class, sorry. And I wonder... How are these guys doing? Still got plenty of ammo here. So, uh, Alright, this is the group in the south. We've got a Topeka over here. We've got a Des Moines over here. Des Moines is saying heavy damage, which, yeah, that makes sense. Turn these guys aggressively back in. And Forte, I think. Well, you're getting hits on the Topeka, so we're going to keep it going. Katana is avoiding torpedoes. Well, it looks like we've succeeded in avoiding those torpedoes, but... 
Where did they come from? No idea. Well, it looks like we got a nice bomb hit on one of their AA cruisers. Keep going. Imponderable has spotted a submarine. Interesting. So the enemy is trying to catch us as we retreat. That's not good. Let's see. Imponderable at six knots. She's almost home. I want that little flooding. I'll bet she'll be fine. I'm going to pick up the pace a little bit. We'll go with eight knots. Should give her a chance to run back towards home. Let's see, what on earth is going here? So these guys are doing a sweep to the north, that's fine. What are these guys doing? Oh, come on, don't you? Okay, these guys have done a sweep to the north as well. Interesting, I swear the radar ranges of these two groups are different. Which is interesting. All right, looks like this whole northern area is pretty well clear. So I'm going to turn these guys back home. And I'm going to turn these guys back home as well. Let's see, how's Behemoth doing? Severely speed limited. Still fighting capable, but that can change very quickly. So I'm just going to point her back home as well. How's Impenetrable doing? Still struggling. I'm going to point her straight for home. And pray. Because at this point, that's really all I can do. We've already done everything that I can as far as limiting uh, flooding. All right. Dive bombing enemy battleship. Okay, good. Got two hits. Nice. She's probably sinking, though. Two more bomb hits, and she is officially sunk. And Impenetrable Limits flooding some more. Good. Down to 106 per turn. So we may actually get this stopped yet. Another round of limits. Fantastic. Looks like we're going about 11 per limit. And I think that's just about it. Juggernaut is still at level 3. I don't dare turn her back yet. How's Leviathan? Looking bad. Let's spread again. Alright, well... We're going to bring these cruisers to the north, try and provide cover for her, because there is something in this area. And these guys, let's see, what can they do? Well, most of the threat is down south, so we're going to move them down, and if we need to, I'll just final strike location. Honestly, that looks good. Nope. No need to shift. Impenetrable is still limiting flooding. Good. We're down to 28. I think she's going to be okay. Now that we've got her speed reduced, and they've got the uh, equipment actually getting applied, now it's just a matter of getting the fires out on my two juggernauts. Underbus limits. Oh, okay. Yep, she took a uh, near miss. Hull damaged by splinters. Which she almost immediately limited. Good. And Congress class takes a hit. Four inch hit. Doesn't matter. Keep rolling. And more aircraft approaching. Torpedo bombing the North Carolina. Yeah. Nope, not what I want. Ah. <sighs> 
Well, at least we're slamming lots of hits in there, so hopefully she's going to sink soon. Just like that um, Ohio class got sunk by the dive bombs. And Blunderbuss takes splinters in the uptakes. Yick. Man. That is just bad luck. Where's those shells coming from? Way the heck out there. My god. Okay, we're going to turn that away. Still taking fire. Oh, there we go. Oh, come on. Wasting those torpedoes on something that doesn't matter. One more torpedo bomber going in. Looks like Blunderbuss has stuff under control and Impenetrable is safe as well. All right. With that in mind, we're going to pick up the pace a little bit. Actually, no. We're going to do six knots. Well, our lone torpedo bomber going after the North Carolina scored a hit. That is to be expected based on the no forward motion. Glide bombing, the same thing. Hang on, hang on. Fire spreads? When did Blunderbuss catch fire? Huh. Well, she's gonna have to run. Alright, but we're at the 52-minute uh, mark here, so I'm gonna call this episode to a close here. And hopefully we should be able to successfully extricate ourselves from this mess in the next episode. Until then, though, this is Katori87, signing off.